Good afternoon. I am honored that IFAD is part of such a distinguished group. At IFAD, we see biodiversity as the backbone of life. Conserving biodiversity is a central element of IFAD investments in agriculture and rural development and must guide our efforts to achieve the sustainable development goals. As we all know, COVID-19 is putting the 2030 agenda at risk. But while the pandemic creates challenges, it also provides opportunities. In the post-pandemic world, biodiversity will be key to building back better, to end hunger, improve food systems, and preserve the Earth's precious resources. Today, let us look at biodiversity through the lenses of rural development. Rural people depend on natural resources for their livelihoods. They depend on clean water and a fertile soil. Diverse cropping systems help the resilience of small-scale farmers to climate change, environmental degradation, pests, and disease. Small-scale farmers are also the most vulnerable to the impact of biodiversity loss, environmental degradation, and climate change. And if farmers use unsustainable agricultural practices, they make these problems worse. This is why sustainable and inclusive rural transformation is a pivotal area of investment. It can tackle the global biosphere crisis and the burdens of poverty, food insecurity, and malnutrition. It can help correct the social injustices that so many rural people face. And it can help small-scale farmers become part of the solution. By raising awareness of the links between agriculture, biodiversity, environment, and climate, we can bring biodiversity and small-scale farming into the mainstream of investment agenda. The key word here is investment. Governments should not be distracted by the need for short-term economic gains. To feed the future and avoid further damage to biodiversity, they need to focus on long-term sustainable rural transformation to truly build back better. Investment in innovations and new nature-based solutions are crucial to achieving effective, inclusive, and sustainable rural transformation. If it has been supporting nature-based solutions for some time, and they are evident throughout our adaptation for smallholder agricultural program, ASAP, across the globe. In Bolivia, for example, Farmers are combining traditional knowledge with modern science to develop ecosystem-based solutions. One community is developing a beekeeping business that incorporates native tree species and encourages reforestation. Another example is the restoration of riverbanks with native trees and bushes to prevent erosion. This combination of upstream and downstream investments makes the entire watershed more resilient in the face of frequent flooding. ASA promotes diversified agricultural systems with high level of agrobiodiversity. This promotes a healthy biosphere and enhances agricultural productivity. Ladies and gentlemen, Threats to biodiversity not only put farmers at risk, they ripple across the globe. Why? Because global food security rests on the backs of small-scale farmers who produce half of the world's food calories. It is a terrible irony that the small-scale producers who provide so much of our food often lack food themselves. If we are serious about building back better, we need to start with biodiversity. And if we are serious about biodiversity, we need to start 
with small-scale farmers. Thank you so much.